Yeah, so I had to jump on this headband wig tutorial, y'all. I've been seeing everybody rocking their headband wigs, and they just look so good. I was like, you know what? Let let me DIY this real quick. Being the DIYer that I am, I had to make my own. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to make your very own headband wig in the inexpensive, budget-friendly way, of course, as always. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go over our material list. What you're going to need is a plastic bag because I decided to go with the gluing method. I hate sewing. So you're gonna need a plastic bag to cover up your canvas head so while you're gluing, your head cap does not get stuck to the canvas head. Then you're also going to need a dome cap. This one will do just fine. Now, I will say this, I did have to measure out where my headband is gonna be placed because of course we're not using this entire dome cap covering it with tracks. We're only using the part where the headband will not be covering. So I did place the headband on my head first, tried it on and I just took a fabric chalk and drew where my headband is going to lie. That part at the end of the video will be cut out. So I'm going in with my tracks. I decided to go in with a curly hair and I went in with the color 2730. And then this is by Autry, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And it's a jerry curl and I absolutely love the curls on this. I wanted something that was gonna give me like Afro vibes, you know, big hair, don't care, cause y'all know I love my volume. Now what we're doing here is not difficult. We're just gluing down some tracks and to hold the tracks to the dome cap while it dries because I hate pulling out my dryer as well. I'm lazy y'all, I'm gonna just go ahead and be honest with you. I just take some T-pins and I. I push those T-pins in there to hold the track until I feel like it's dry and then I take them out and move it to another track. There, there you go. So you will need a lot of T-pins as well. So we're going to fast forward through all of this because it's self-explanatory, honey. Now I will say I only went in with one packet. I should have bought two. I should have bought two, but that's okay because we went back and added more tracks anyway. So once we are done with that, we are then going to go into laying our headband. All right, this is what we're looking like. And as you can see, yeah, more tracks definitely could have been used, but that's okay. This was my first time. We we uh, live and we learn. There you go. That's the process of life. So now I'm going to go in with my headband. Now this part, I was debating whether gluing it down or sewing it down because y'all know I hate, I hate sewing. I'm not a seamstress. Hand sewing is like the longest, tedious, most uh, boring thing to do, but... I manned up and I, I went ahead and, and sewed it in there. So I'm just placing it where I want it and I'm gonna take those lovely T-pins that we used earlier and I'm gonna pin it down. Now I did kind of like stretch the headband. By the way, I did cut it in half, I'm sorry. I did stretch the headband so that it kind of, you know, covers as much as possible. And then at the bottom of the headband where we cut it in half, I'm gonna add some Velcro, Velcro strips. Lord, I cannot say that word. I'm going to add some Velcro strips to hold the band together while we have it on. So this is gonna be our security. Our security to make sure our headband wig don't come flying off of our head. Cut your strips for your Velcro and add it to the very ends. Now I do, I am showing you guys how I, of course, cut my strip and apply it to the fabric. Make sure the Velcro is for fabrics. Let me stress that. Make sure your Velcro is made for fabrics. You have different types of Velcro that serve different purposes. We're applying this to a headband. Guess what? The headband is made out of fabric. 
So we're gonna use the Velcro that is made for fabric and we're just gonna apply it. Now, since I did cut it in half, you have like this hole from, you know, the headband not being sewn closed. We're gonna sew that as well and that's also gonna help keep that Velcro in place on the headband because I'm going to sew through the headband and the Velcro. So it closes up that gap, that hole you see right there and then it'll be all good to go. So we're sewing on the headband and I'm also sewing on the Velcro for extra security. After 20 minutes of threading a freaking needle, we're done, look at it. So now our headband no longer has that gap in the back when we put our two Velcro strips together. Our headband is secured to our dome cap. Now it is time to cut off that extra dome cap because it no longer serves a purpose. Time for the try on. So if you have not checked out my video yet on how to make your own crochet insta bun box braid wig, honey, go ahead and hit that card in the top right corner of this video. Or you can hit the link down in the description bar and check it out as soon as you're done checking out this one. So I'm just applying my new headband wig. My goodness, it looks good. I am very proud of myself. My sewing skills have improved. So I'm just <laughs> making my small adjustments and then of course we're going to fluff 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 these curls because like I told you earlier your girl loves volume big hair don't care Now time to add our headband for extra accessory. And I found this one at my local Walmart. I just kind of stumbled upon it. I wasn't really looking for it, but it looked different. I like the, you know, the shapes and the geometric design it had going on. So it's very simple. You tie it on. I made like a nice little cute, you know, side kind of bow thing going on. And then there you go. You have a new headband wig, sweetie. You're very welcome. Now let's talk about the versatility of this style. So I bought this hair, it's called Jerry Curl Long, and it is human hair blend. So it, it is of course synthetic hair with human hair blends in it. And I only bought one packet, it came in a package just like this, and it was only $15. So I only purchased one packet of this um, for $15. I was just like, yeah, it's fine. This will work. I can't be mad at a $15 wig. Now I will say that I probably should have purchased two packet, two pack, two packs of hair. I like fullness. I love thickness, especially when it comes to curls. I want to give you the cons of trying to create this wig. Well, one of the cons, my biggest cons that I have about making this is I wish I made it a little bit more fuller. I prefer more volume. If you're okay with this look, which I am, I am okay with this look. I don't have a problem going out. Wearing this look is perfectly fine. It's just my preference. I'm gonna go back. I am gonna go back and buy me another pack of hair and just fill it in some more. I did feel like I was kind of stretching the hair anyway while I was creating the wig. So I just feel like this will give me my satisfaction that the wig is actually complete. Um, a, another con about this now, um, be careful with stretching the black headband that is attached to the dome cap. Make it just make sure you don't stretch it out too far because then you can end up having a very wide and you know too much space in the back. I ended up having to uh, cut my velcro one of the velcro ends at the in the back and reattach a new piece because i had like a pretty big gap in the back because i had stretched it out a little too much in the front 
So be mindful as that as well. I haven't really tried pulling it up, so I'm not even 100% sure what it looks like. I'm gonna get a hair tie real quickly. my headband in order to cover it up but for the most part I don't, I don't mind that I think I would probably do a high bun though let's 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 try a high bun High bun is a go-to. I kind of like the high bun definitely more than the, the low bun. Like, I'm really excited now. I feel like I need to go try some more headbands now. Let's see. I got another headband. We're going to do another. Look, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, yeah, now I feel like... I need to invest in a bunch of headbands now. Yep, I mean, I got a bunch of head wraps, but now I feel like I'm gonna have to invest in some headbands. We're gonna try another one, we're gonna try. All right, so that was the little uh, scrunchy one in the back and it has like a little knot. That one worked. Um, this was the chunky one I tried, but I just didn't like, I don't like the way it looks. Oh. It looks a lot better with the yeah I mean okay all right another one another one yeah Yeah, yeah, these are, these are definitely, I'm definitely gonna have to make another one. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to make another one. But these are super freaking cute. Wait, just wait, hold on, just. Yeah, that, that's it, y'all. I don't have nothing else for y'all. Thank you for watching. If you have been sticking it out this entire video, I greatly appreciate it. You're awesome. Please, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button if you um like this headband wig that I just created. And let me know in the comments if you want to see some more. What types of textures and colors would you love to see? Because I would love to keep doing this because, honey... I need like fifteen thirty dollars for this, and the versatility is still there. <laughs> like, why not? Why not? Why not do it? Why not get away with it? Like, y'all can't tell me nothing. I'm definitely. I will be wearing this to work. Like, I'm. They. they, they <laughs> They're going to be sick of me. I know they are. They're going to be sick of me. So anyways, guys, thank you for joining us on another video. We will see y'all on another one. Happy holidays. Be safe and be blessed.